A food tech company says that with this machine, they've created the first 3D printed fish fillets. Plus, they seem pretty tasty. Yeah. It's really tasty. The machine is almost like a real life Star Trek replicator, except instead of synthesizing food on demand, it 3D prints it. The fillets are made by taking cells from a fish and growing them into muscle and fat. Bio ink, a material specifically engineered for 3D printing live tissue, is then added. Umami Meats, one of the companies behind the technology, says they could start selling their lab grown fish products as soon as 2024. They can say that here the process is clean, it's transparent, the end product is antibiotics free, and I assume that in the future we will understand the health benefits of of these cultivated meat uh, products. I can feel the same, almost the same um, uh, experience of the fish structure in my mouth. And I'm also really amazed by the juiciness and also the uh, kind of a buttery uh, feel in my mouth. The company has so far been successful in 3D printing fillets using cells from groupers and eels, but they hope to use their technology with other types of endangered fish soon. Lab-grown meat like chicken and beef are inching closer to showing up on store shelves, but few companies have experimented with lab-grown seafood before. While cow stem cells have been studied at length, unfortunately much less is known about fish cells. One of the major challenges Umami Meats is currently facing is making the cost of lab-grown fish on par with that of regular fish. We want consumers to choose based on how it tastes and what it can do for the, for the world and for the planetary environment, and we want to take cost off the table as a consideration.